What's up everybody, Tom Pelissero here in Mankato on Friday night. Minnesota Vikings now have had five days of practice, two fully padded sessions the past couple of days. Already kind of interesting to look and see how some of uh, the hotter position battles are going to play out here, which the more and more you monitor the reps guys are getting, the more you can see maybe the way coaches are leaning. In some cases, we have a pretty good idea. Christian Ponder the past two days has taken virtually all of the second team reps. Joe Webb has been moved back with the threes. Leslie Frazier has said that that's in part because he wants Ponder working with the best offensive line. Well, one would tend to think that the guy who's getting those reps is going to end up being in that role, not to mention the fact that Christian Ponder is going to be a pure quarterback for this football team, whereas Joe Webb is probably going to be moved around. They're probably going to look at some different packages and different roles uh, in which they can use him. At the receiver position, sure seems as though at the top of it it's pretty well set at this point. Bernard Berrien's the split end, Percy Arvin the flanker, Michael Jenkins the third receiver. Jamar Johnson has done a lot of positive things. Probably that number four guy. Then you got a whole bunch of guys. Greg Camarillo, Emmanuel Arsenault, Joaquin Iglesias, Devin Aramashadu. All those guys looking at a bunch of different spots. And I wouldn't say Jamar is in either, but that entire group of guys, probably the one who has stood out the most so far, has been Jamar Johnson. Well, on the offensive line, Chris Gear pretty clearly the front runner at right guard right now. Uh, Ryan Cook has been getting the second team reps there. That's probably going to be sorted out through the games. It's tough to say that in practice you're going to get the same thing going on in the trenches that you do in a game situation against the opponent you're not familiar with. What I'm interested to see is what ends up happening at three of the spots on defense. The Vikings are going to have several different starters this season on the defensive side of the ball. We know Remy Ayadell is going to be the nose tackle. We have a pretty good idea. Obviously, the Brian Robinson is going to be the left end. It seems as though Aaron Henderson is the front runner right now at weak side linebacker, but Jasper Brinkley got a lot of reps there. You wonder, Brinkley with those downhill run traits, what he does in the base defense, is that not a better skill set for what the Vikings need out of that position than Aaron Henderson? Both of them are going to be liabilities in coverage, but does Brinkley bring a little bit more into the running game? That's something the, the coaches are going to have to sort out again through the preseason. At cornerback, as far as the third cornerback, seems like it's dead even between Chris Cook and Asher Allen right now. I think the coaches would like Chris Cook to be the guy because they've already seen Asher Allen going through it. They haven't seen a healthy Chris Cook uh, go through a full season. He was so banged up with those knees last year. But at the same time right now, they're basically rotating reps. We still don't know if Cedric Griffin's going to be 100% healthy and if he's going to be the same guy he was before two ACL injuries. He's probably not going to be 100% back to that, but is he going to be good enough for him to start or to Cook and Allen both find their way out there? Really interesting to watch that. Cord Parks mixed in with the first team today. I know the coaches are also high on Brandon Burton, the fifth-round pick out of Utah. All those guys. That stuff, as well as the second safety position, it seems as though Hussein Abdullah, barring a uh, major collapse from him, is going to be one of the starting safeties. But is it Tyrell Johnson? Is it Jamarcus Sanford? Those two guys have gone back and forth, series to series, drill to drill. Who's the number one guy? Tyrell Johnson, they're very high on, especially within the personnel department. They know what his skill set was. There's a reason they drafted him in the second round. Hasn't lived up to that. Jamarcus Sanford, big-time hitter. Can he cover anybody? We'll find out very soon. A lot to watch. We're only five days into this thing. First preseason game, eight days away in Nashville. Full coverage of the Vikings at 1500ESPN.com. See ya.